In the primeval jungles of southwest New Guinea, all the modern resources of the civilized world are employed in the search for the explorer son of New York's Governor Nelson Rockefeller. An expedition seeking primitive art brought 23-year-old Michael Rockefeller into the remote region where the water is infested with sharks and crocodiles. The governor and his daughter Mary, Michael's twin, made a desperate 10,000-mile dash around half the world to join the search. Michael's Dutch companion, Rene Vossing, related how young Rockefeller insisted on swimming the three miles to shore after their catamaran raft capsized in choppy seas. Dr. Vossing was rescued, but Michael disappeared, and the grim search began in this area where headhunters and cannibals once roamed. Men, planes, and ships of three nations engaged in the mercy manhunt. A gasoline can was found at sea, possibly one of two Michael used as a makeshift life buoy, and hopes were heightened that he was alive somewhere out there in the steaming jungle. The search went on, hacking through the dank growth while the world outside waited for word. Governor Rockefeller expressed his gratitude for the help received from so many sources. I appreciate this opportunity to express my very sincere appreciation and on behalf of Michael's twin sister, her appreciation for what Mr. Johnson, the district commissioner, and the, the patrol officers uh, here in this whole area have been doing in connection with the search. And the search went on until heavy tropical rains were reported. The governor left the jungle where young Michael was still missing.